about the clout chasers. Okay. I couldn't really fight it. Really fight it. Uh huh. So I figured I'd use this boy. Yeah. Yeah. Baby. Yeah. 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 Celebration, think it's time for a toast. I ain't trying to work a nine to five, a trip on a boat. Hit the stool with Miss Cabello, Roger Pamela go. Yeah, have a drink and maybe spit a few records. If I ever go to jail, please don't write me no letters. Cause I'm a lone wolf and I be howling at the moon. And I always do it better with nobody in the room. Myself, big space, work out with big waist. Good on big place, New York, my birthplace. Go wild, change clothes, I switch styles. No love, a stepchild. I don't like my full mind. And every beat I ever use, I demolish. And I remember skipping high school just to get girls in college. Smart and instead, we're getting brain now. I'm so full of knowledge. Now I snap on it, right. beat, so you should pay me my homage. Right. Yeah, praise God that He blessed me with talent. I'm an artist and a father, it's a hell of a balance. But I ain't never took a shortcut, always up for a challenge. Count the green and serve it up like I'm making a salad. Now, this shit ain't no game. Okay. I work too hard for you to just bite off my face. VIP section, my sister started making noise, I get a lot of affection, like, yeah, hey, wavy boy, you know I always had a crush, I really, remember all really. the times that you was rapping on the bus, you know the time that I was rapping and you told me to shut up, see that was then and this is now, maybe we can see what's up, it's kind of funny how they acting when they see you got clout, it's when they pop up at your shows and they want to hang out, said they saw me on the live, I had the whole gang out, uh -huh. yeah, they some relevant, so then they want to bang out, oh, yeah, fine. Keep it real, I mean I'm keeping it drill. I just wanna get this bag and then pay all of my bills. Live nice. my life a little comfy just to know how it feels. Singing all I want is you, the ladies catching the chills. Yeah, throw a party, man, you know it's a banger. Sing the tune by Miss Cabello, you know I'm talking at Vanna. Now this shit ain't no game. I work too hard for you to just bite off my face. I know I'm wavy, but you cannot ride my way. You chasing clap with me, and you ain't not the same. Yeah. All right, Wavy. Uh, you know, you know, I had to do a little something, something. You did this up for the ladies yeah. right there. Yeah. Well, actually, that was that wasn't even for the ladies. That was for all the cloud chases, right? There. Oh, that was I, for the. Wait, hold up, before we get, cause yeah. he about to talk about it. He about to jump right into it. Let's talk about it, MGK style. You know what I'm saying? All right, first and foremost, <laughs> you want your MGK? You take you know your killing it. Listen. You already know it's your girl, Moochie Strap, the 845 online radio. First and foremost, shout out to the hottest online radio station, reporting live 845, straight 845 radio, building our own from the ground up. So Again, sad. happy Wednesday to everybody. Tonight's show is sponsored by Bell Black Label. Shout out to my personal clothing sponsor, Shop for the Culture. And also tonight's show is sponsored by my uh, partners in the radio business, OCH Radio, official clock huggers. They'll be back on the air live this um, Sunday, September 23rd. So make sure you guys tune in via Facebook, YouTube, Ustream. Um, OCH Radio is back. Now, Heard it. this particular interview is completely long overdue. It's been rescheduled for like six months. That's how you knew it was supposed to happen. <laughs> I have the golden child, the wild child, live in the building. He goes by the name of Wavy Wild Boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to my people, Wavy. So That's you already know. Talk to, talk to who you who you want a little bit about yourself. Yeah, y'all know when y'all hear that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> y'all know that's me. Y'all know that's me on the chat. That's my signature move right there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's your boy Wavy Wild Boy. Come straight up to 845. I'm here with the lovely Miss Moochie. You know what I'm saying? It, it has been long overdue. Way long overdue. I've been trying to get out here even before. I think she even heard of me. I, I heard of her. So I think she been. I've been trying to get to her before she's been trying to get to me. So, um... I'm actually, I'm, I'm very happy to be here finally. Thank very you. I, I, I'm humbled that you wanted to come on my little show. Thank you. And I must say, I, I heard about Wavy, but I never really knew who you were. Okay. And I'd never seen you perform. I never heard your music. I just kept hearing your name. Shout out to Spartacus. Yeah, um, cause definitely. Spartacus definitely brought your name up, I think, over a year ago. Wow. When he came on the show with one of his friends from down south. But I'd never really seen you. It wasn't until an event I seen That's Wavy. That's Tori. Yes. Yeah, yes. Tori. <laughs> um, it wasn't until an event that I seen you. Um, and I seen you perform, and it was your energy. I was like, who is this kid? And that's when they said, that's Wavy. <laughs> right there. <laughs> so, yeah. <clears throat> I guess we're going to jump right into the interview. Because your name was ringing bells before I even knew you. So, okay. how did you make that happen? Or what were you doing to even make that happen? Well, honestly... Um... 
way before Wavy Wild Boy even came about, I was going under the name Luda. Okay. Uh, Luda was a big thing when I was living down south. I was in the Marine Corps for four years. Oh, thank you for serving. We appreciate you for your support. And um, I was doing big things down there. Big things. My songs were getting played in the club. You know, I'm doing shows here and there. I was even doing shows for like some like makeup thing. Mm-hmm. Um, I forget what it's called, but I was doing shows and stuff like that. And I was like, yo, this is this is kind of what I want to do when I get out the Marine Corps. I don't want to be no damn cop. Right, you know right. What I'm saying like because with my job, that's mainly what they do. They become cops. Okay. Um, but I was like, no, nah, I don't want to be no cop. So uh, music was a big thing in my life. I've been writing music since I was about like. I don't even remember how old I was, but um, in my interview with, um, um, wow, hello, Finally TV. My brother, shout out to Gabe. Yeah, shout out Gabe. Um, In my interview, I actually talked about how I started writing music. My brother used to um, make fun of me with his friends. They used to freestyle and stuff Mm -hmm. like that. So I wrote down something real quick, and I was, well, it wasn't real quick. It took me like three three days to write it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, I'm about to get them, I'm about to get them, and it never came about. And I showed my friends, and they was like, yo, this, this is actually fire, yo. Like, right, you right. continue this. So then um, the Wavy Boys, um, it's on my chain, it's on my shirt, it's on the back of my shirt and all that. It goes way back to my brother, uh, Jordan Pope. He died in 2014. Oh, Lord. Um, so while I was deployed, um, I, got, uh, well, I, I, I called home and got a horrible message saying that he had passed away. Um before I had deployed and before I even went to the Marine Corps, we used to have our little group of people we used to chill with. It mm-hmm. was the Wavy Boys. Right. You know what I'm saying? And everybody hears Wavy Wild Boy, they expect me to have like the waves all in my hair. and Every now and then I get them spinning, you know what I'm saying? But it, that's not the reason behind it. It was the Wavy Boys. And in the Wavy Boys, I was Wavy Wild Boy because uh, other crazy reasons I was just always the wild one You know what I'm saying I was always the one That would like Turn up the parties Really And wavy The wavy boys That's what we were You know We were wavy We would we, we, You know Have smoke Have drink You know what I'm saying Now We would get wavy not, Now Not to cut you off But I just have a question Because you being such um, uh, uh, You being in the marines Is very disciplined mm-hmm. Very structured mm-hmm. So How did that transition go I know that was hard Negative actually Negative no. um, Cause while I was in the marine corps I was that was mainly where I was wavy wild boy. Oh, um, <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're, you 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 were honorably discharged, right? Because I'm about yeah, to put you yeah, yeah, in yeah, all yeah. types of trouble. The the while I was there, I was just I was more of the wild boy side, I should mm-hmm. say. Um, I was also known for like doing backflips off things. I was loud. I was reckless. Um, I was just you know just just wild. That's mm-hmm. there's no other way to put it. I was just wild. Um, but uh, when I came back here, about a week before I got out the Marine Corps, I had a conversation with my boy Jalen. Shout out Jalen Sparks. Um, I told him, I said, I'm going to let you know I'm going back into the civilian world and I'm acting ratchet. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I'm acting full wild boy out there. Yo. I said, yeah, y- y'all know me as wild boy. I'm acting full a donkey out there, yo. I said, there ain't nobody could tell me shit. I'm a Marine. Uh-huh. I can do whatever I want. Right. So then I incorporated that into my stage performance uh, where, you know, I was like, hey, like, I'm used to talking to big crowds of people and, you know, you know, yelling and mm-hmm. doing whatever I got to do, you know, to get their attention. So let me put this in my music, doing what I got to do to, you know, get their damn attention. That along with... um that's what made my stage performance, you know, stick out a lot, you know, compared to other people I had performed with. But then uh, I was in the studio. Well, before that, before, you know, this story happens, I was, um, I have a uh, friend, Willie Rodriguez. Shout out Willie Rod, WR Entertainment. Uh, shout out them. Uh, he had told me about this dude. He's like, yo, bro, you ever hear this guy Spartacus? Yo, he's, he's doing big things right now. Bro. Mm-hmm. He's, he's nice. And I'm like, yeah, I heard the name, man. I ain't trying to work with dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, right, right. He probably pays for followers, probably pays for views. I don't care about him. Like, leave me alone. Right. Like, stop and trying to introduce me to other artists like that. If, I'm, if I want to introduce myself to an artist, I will see them myself. I will see their work ethic. I will see. And I will reach out. Yeah, right. I will reach out to them. Right. So one day I just happened to be in the studio with my cousin, uh, cousin Don Bambino, DJ uh, Don Bambino, shout out him. 
and uh, at the uh, the studio I go to is actually right around the corner, uh, the Big Bang Vault. Uh, that's Don Chino, right? Uh, Don Chino's at uh, on the mix. Okay, okay. He used to be at uh, Big Bang Vault. Okay, okay. Um, but now it's uh, that's Goon. Uh, big shout out Goon, um, uh, Bamboy Rocky, all okay. them at the Big gotcha. Bang Vault. Okay. Links. Uh, and I was there, you know, I was I was planning on recording All I Want Is You. Mm-hmm. And I had the first verse written, and I was like, yeah, all right, bet. I'm going to record this, and then I'm going to go back and write the second verse, blah, blah, blah. Spartacus happened to walk in, and you know how Spartacus is. He just walks in full of energy. Mm-hmm, hey, mm-hmm. what's good, y'all? What's up, what's up, what's up? I'm Spartacus. You need a card? You need a card? <laughs> right. My man always got a card. Everywhere we go, he's passing out cards. Which is the right way. Everywhere we mm-hmm. go. And, you know, I'm like, all right, cool, dude, thanks, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So I, I was recording a song. I was doing um, this contest for, um, I was doing a contest, uh, Flight to Phoenix Challenge. And um, he heard that verse, and he was like, damn, bro, that shit hot, that shit fire, bro. Like, woo, all right, bad, bad. So I finished that, and then all of a sudden I just busted out. Say, all I want is you, baby. And he's like, what? Mm-hmm. What? Mm-hmm. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. And he heard me lay down my verse, and he was like, bro, yo, if I got on that, bro, yo, I would, I would do, do crazy things. I'm like, all right. You know, everybody always says that. Mm-hmm. Let's, let's see. Let's see what you got. You know, I'll give you a chance. Write a verse, be back here next week, and we'll, we'll drop it if, if it's hot. If I like it, we'll drop it. If I don't like it, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. I'll tell you to kick rocks with no shoes. With no shoes? Straight like that. Okay. Straight four or five. Straight four. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll use that. Um, <laughs> so he came, like, I, I went back to the studio the next week, and I figured, all right, this dude going front. Mm-hmm. I had already had a backup verse ready. I called this man, and in five minutes, he he pulled up. I was like, damn, this dude want this. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He dropped his verse, and I was like, Damn. I oh, want this. Oh, I want you. Yeah. I uh, ain't got no clue. Yeah. Uh, uh, All I want is you. Yeah. Tell me what to do. I was like, damn. <laughs> that boy singing, singing, huh? So I said, I right, bet, you know, this, this one's going to be a hit. Like, after we listened to it, we actually we recorded it a couple more times. And I was like, this one's going to be a hit, bro. Like, we, that was we, your single. We got something with this one right here. So um, we had, uh, we dropped it, like, I think two to three months later, and the promotion for it was already like just booming. Mm-hmm, People mm-hmm. couldn't wait to hear it. People couldn't wait to hear it. like when are you gonna drop that song? Mm-hmm. When are you gonna drop that song? Finally, you know, we I called him one day. I'm like, bro, I think I'm ready to drop the song. He said, all right, well, drop it. Let's see, let's see what happens. We drop it, and next thing I know, fast forward a month later, literally a month later, without any paying for views. Paying for oh, we're gonna get into that. More followers. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's a big thing. Wait, I, I was about to say we're gonna get into it, that. That is a talk about the video because you see, like, I see you emphasizing. <laughs> and listen, as the host of a porn live, I don't want you to have to emphasize too hard. We can just get right All into good, it. Good, good. All right, bet. So without without anything else, that song no promote, not really too much promotion behind it. That song was doing numbers. Mm-hmm. I had people sending me videos from North Carolina, Tennessee, Budapest. Wow. Just, you know, them videotaping themselves singing that song. All I want is you, baby. You, I'm like, damn. Look at my mom. You got us ready to play the song, right? <laughs> all we want is you. What the, I just want you. Like, what's the... That's You fine, holding me yeah. up, like... And, and it was just... It was such a good feeling. And even to this day, every, t- every single time I hear somebody play the song and, like, send me a video of them playing it, it doesn't get old to me, you know? Uh, I, I go uh, perform at Jay-Z Sports Bar... Which is right around the corner over mm-hmm. here as well. I go perform over there. They all know that song over there. Everywhere I go, they know that song. I have a show coming up um, this Saturday in Hendersonville, uh, Tennessee, at the Revelry. Ooh. Um, I'm gonna be there alongside Los Ghost, White Gold, Lily Styles, um, and a couple other artists you know, uh, doing big things. And it that is a song that they're all waiting for. Um, all floor, I want is you. All I want is you. All they all they want is that song. <laughs> so that, I hope you. That's the. I hope you put that song on repeat for the people. Oh, of course, of course. I, I think it might be played throughout the night. You know, maybe, maybe. Uh, Gorilla Kelso. <laughs> 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 uh, 
So I'm hoping it will be played throughout the night. Unfortunately, Spartacus won't be able to make it due to some unfortunate things that right. has happened yes, recently. Right, yes, yes. Um, and every, please keep him in your prayers, everyone, please. Um, I had talked to Spartacus, you know, before I came on here, mm -hmm. and I told him, I said, hey, I don't know if you want me to talk about it, but um, he said he wants everybody to know who she was. Okay. So um, I, I think I told you, mm -hmm. but uh, Spartacus, uh, his girlfriend died. Um, she uh, she was a beautiful, beautiful girl. Um, that bastard cancer took her. Um, and it hurt me to know how hurt Spartacus was, you know, because right. that's that's who I feed off the energy with, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I when I do my shows and you see the energy that you've seen, that's where a lot of it comes from when I'm performing with Spartacus. Mm -hmm. He, his energy is, is, is contagious. Yes, it is. Yes, it's it is. very contagious. When yes, he performs is. cash, he's doing all this. Yes, it is. Da -da -da -da. Yes, it is. You know, it's, it's wild contagious, you know, and... To see how bad that that hit him, to see him that night at the studio, it, it tore me apart. Right. You know, but um, shout out. Um, definitely, definitely. Shout out Spartacus. You, we're def you're definitely in our prayers. Absolutely. Uh, you, you, your girlfriend's family, they're all in our prayers. That's a fact. Um, What's her name? Uh, I'm always, I'm, I'm bad, I'm horrible with, with names. names. Yeah, horrible with names. We don't know her name, but just keep Spartacus in the in, um, in family and prayer, definitely. Sh Shanice, I believe. Shanice, okay. I believe that's her name, Shanice. Shout out to my people that are checking. It's my big brother, Life Live. I see you, my guy. Um, yeah, uh, her name is, yeah, Shanice. Shanice, okay. okay. I was right, Shanice died. Please yeah, keep Shanice and your, her family in your prayers, and yes. definitely Spartacus. Cancer sucks. It, it does. It's that, you know what? Cancer's worse than AIDS. And any STD in the world, I promise you that thing takes you out. Yeah, it does. It does. It does. But um, I mean, not not to make any joke about it, but uh, every time I hear AIDS, yo, I, I literally jump back a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do. Like, it, what it's you such think, a... What you think? It's contagious? I got AIDS here. Catch <laughs> no, it. You caught it, Diddy. Nah, you just, got just, it. Just that word, it scares the hell out of me. You know what I mean? Like, it, it, even, even herpes. Like, so Ooh. Chill out. <laughs> Let me just say, oh wait, sidebar, since you said that, sidebar, we're going to get it, listen, sidebar, did you know that you could catch herpes in your eyes? Yes. Oh, you didn't know that? Yes, I did. You know, I was a medical tech for, for so long, and I just recently learned that when a patient came in, and they had herpes in their eyes, and I'm sitting there typing, and the doctor said, yeah, we're going to diagnose with herpes in the eyes. I looked up like, what the, I started putting um, sanitizer yeah, on my yeah, hands, yeah, yeah. I was nervous, I was itching, I didn't know what was going on. I get, I get real weird. I don't, know I, I don't mean to. It's nothing. If you got it, I mean, hey. If you got it, just handle it. I'm sorry. It's whatever you did, you did. But just, I'm sorry. I get weird about it. I, I have a fear of midgets and bees too. So like when midgets I midgets and bees. Yeah, when I get around midgets, I, I get real uncomfortable. Oh, people. that would be like the ill prank. <laughs> I used to, my Marines used to tell me that all the time. And my Marine buddies they used to always tell me that all the time. And they'd be like, "Yo, Ludera, we gonna." Um, have a stripper birthday party. I'm surprised nobody didn't get just. Oh. They said they were going to do that, and I told them all that's the worst idea because they're all going to be accessory to murder. So, <laughs> um, we're not going to play that game. He said accessory to murder. We're not playing that game. <laughs> My fears turn into to anger, so we go. You go, yeah, leave it alone, yeah, push it to the just, side, throw it on yeah. the Right. You know what I mean? All right, he said. So, you don't want to catch a case. That's it. But back to the music. Wait, we got to get into it now. Oh, we got to get into we gotta it. We got to get into it because <laughs> nobody really want to talk about it. And I always wanted to address this. Um, and you are very um, vocal about it. Very. So we are in 2018. And I, you know, I'm one to scroll. You know, I'm in everybody's business. That's my job. So I'm looking and I look at people's numbers. I look at the numbers that they get on their video plays. I look at the numbers that they get on their following. And when they post a pic and the likes and stuff. And I'm about analytics. I have to learn analytics yeah, to be in marketing. Do you don't need it anymore? Nah, nah, no, we nah. talk loud, so nah, we good. I'm, I'm talking, talking. So, um, you know, and I have to learn analytics because I have to learn how to run my business. So I have to learn numbers. So my question was, you know, um, a lot of people pay. They're not saying it, but it's evident yeah. through the analytics. I see a lot of people paying for music views. I see a lot of people paying for followers. Pay, they're doing everything but paying to put their money on a platform. That's yeah. what they're doing. Um, so talk to us about that as an artist because I think that I thought that that was not cool. It's not at all. I'm gonna tell you straight up the way I see it. Um, I think we were talking about it a little bit before. How you can see if somebody got 16.4k and then you got a hundred likes on a post. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
Ryan Upchurch. He's uh he's uh I don't think you know of him. He's a southern rapper as well too. Um he just dropped the album too. Shout out Ryan Upchurch. He has I think three million followers. Mm -hmm. He had about four likes on his recent post. I showed my friend. I said, "This is what happens when you don't buy followers." He had four likes within the four, the two seconds he posted it. Right. Within about one minute, it went up to like three thousand. Right. That's what happens when you don't pay for followers and it's organic because all of his posts are like that. Right. And you can see the numbers don't stop going going up. up. Right. When you pay for following, you pay for a certain amount. You know what I'm saying? So, and I think it takes away from you as an artist, so you don't even get to see what you're doing organically. Right, right. So it's like, how do you get happy seeing 3,000 3, likes on something, and you don't know not one of these 3,000 people? People, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, how do, you, how do you even get happy about that? And then you go and post a screenshot of your views, like 10,000 views on this, blah, blah, blah. It's like, yo, you're really... Do you really get happy about that? They're not commenting. They're not saying it. They're not saying anything about the video. They're they, not acknowledging nah. anything. They're just, it's just, they just been paid to like it. Exactly. Or view it. Uh, it, it, it just, it, it mind boggles me. I would never pay for a view. I would pay for a promotion from somebody that has the views. And right. Has the, I'll pay them to post my stuff on something. And, and then get the views. And then you'll see also the followers will come with it organically. Right, right. And um, just for All I Want Is You, I just dropped it Saturday. Today's Tuesday. It's got like 300-something um, views and likes on it. By the way, that's out on YouTube right now. You can type in Wavy Wild Boy featuring Sparkers, All I Want Is You. Run those numbers up organically. Organically. <laughs> because you feel proud that you and Spartacus went into the studio, y'all made this, uh, this single, mm -hmm. y'all dropped it, and just to know that people actually those 300 or whoever i'm sure it's more than that now yeah. actually took the time to watch it and then when you go and see it you actually know half the people that actually yeah, went and they're watched leaving it. comments they're leaving you comments they're engaging in it they're calling me by my real name they're called i don't even care i say that because people know who i am they call me luke in the comments like luke you're doing it some of them know me from when i was luda that Luda, you're killing it. You know right, what I'm right, saying? Right, They're right. like, damn, bro, like that's who you really are. You know what I'm saying? So this is to show you that I really know you, and I'm really commenting it on it. And you got these people that are posting these stuff up, and they're paying for the views, they're paying for the, for the likes. And I don't, I don't think you can pay for comments. I don't know. I don't know Listen, it's 2018. You can pay for everything right now. You can pay you probably, for everything. You probably can. I don't know, but you know what I'm saying. But it's, it, it's a shame. You know it what is. I'm saying? And I think it takes away from your skill. And I think it limits you as an artist where you're just going to be limiting the paying for all that stuff and you're not going to go nowhere. Right, you right. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you might be able to pay for these likes, views, and followers, but then, like, I don't see you doing shows. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't see you, like, really out there, like, hitting the streets. Like, I watched the video. I, I'm, I always like to um, go back to Spartacus because Spartacus, is a, he, even though he's a, a partner of mine in music, He's a he's a huge inspiration to me as well. Okay, okay. Um, Spartacus, I watched this man <clears throat> take a duffel bag with CDs of his mixtape Believer, and he sat on the side of the highway passing them out to cars with his card in it. You know what I'm saying? So you see somebody like that putting in the legwork, mm -hmm. and, I, and I emphasize the word legwork because that's what it really is. That's, that's what it right. comes down to. That's what the music game is about because. Um, I had a conversation with my mother and father earlier today how they were talking about how we used to have the desktop in the living room and I'd be sitting there typing up my little rhymes, whatever, and I could rap to it, whatever. I wasn't doing shows. I wasn't, you know, hitting a real recording booth. I was recording off a rock band mic and a sock. Right, right. And that's when it was fun. Now, if you take your art seriously... You want it to become a way of life. Mm -hmm. You want it. I just heard in the other interview. You want to get paid. You want to be able to walk in and get paid X amount of money. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So take it serious. You know what I'm saying? Put in that legwork so that you know you know what you got and you work for everything you got. There's there's an artist out there that I'm not the biggest fan of. Like I'm a, I'm a big fan of his music. I'm not a fan of him as a person. Tory Lanez. Okay, okay. Um, that's because me and him we actually got into something. But oh, you and Tory? Yeah. Uh, because my I don't know if you know my job is security like my my actual nine to five is security 
and every now and then I go up to Queens and I do like celebrity security. Right, so right. While I was doing that, I ended up meeting Tory Lanez. Me and him had a little, you know, little words, words, and his his personal security tried to get up. I'm, listen. I don't give a damn with y'all, who you are. Who you are. I'm going to do my job. That, and I'll beat y'all ass. <laughs> you going to beat up the celebrity? I, we going to have you on 845. Beat up the celebrity. I, I would have took that and ran. <laughs> ran with it. <laughs> Tory Lane, you got to beat. You got to come to 845 and explain it, it this. It would have happened. It really would have happened. He probably don't remember who I am. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I respect him where there was an incident recently where he said um, somebody had paid for... Uh, a feature from him, mm-hmm. but they were short like twenty dollars, and he said, "No, I'm not doing this feature. You get my damn money." Right. At the end of the day, like you might see it like, "Oh, he's rich," but he put in that work to get all of that money, including that twenty dollars. You know what I'm saying? He didn't. He didn't have to pay right. for you to to ask for him. Somebody to tell you to go ask for him for that feature. He, you see his hard work, the albums he's put out, the work he's put in with other artists, and you're like, I want him on my right. shit. That's right. So now you pay him all his money and his twenty dollars and anything else he asks for. That's a that's a fact. That's a you know fact, what I'm saying? That's like, true. And that's that's where these artists are messing up by paying for views and followers. Nobody's gonna want to pay you because any smart artist, anybody that's actually because when you do music, you're investing in yourself. Absolutely. And if you want to invest wisely, you're not going to want to invest in something fake. Mm-hmm. You want to invest in something that's real, something that's organic, something that you're going to get something back out of. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. So when you're sitting there paying for it, you're not going to get nothing back out of it. That's right. Besides a fake view. That's right. A bot. A, bo- a bot. That's his, exactly. <laughs> that's exactly. all you're going to get is a bot. Listen, y'all, we got Wavy Wild Boy in the building. I am so excited about this. I'm more so excited about this song because I don't understand how I, I bypassed this. I've been seeing the snippet and the snippet. <laughs> so I don't know how Moochie just got word that the song dropped, and I was been supposed to know. Yeah. But we're not going to talk about Spartacus and Wavy today, face. We're just going we to do it live, and we're going to leave it right where it's at. But all I want is you, Wavy and Wavy and Wild Boy. Now, I know you guys shot the video. What did you guys shoot the video at? Um... I don't know if I want to disclose that location. Not the whole location, the city. Seen, I already seen All right, one the, of my scenes in somebody else's All right, the county. The county. <laughs> what, what, what county was I you I shot it actually right here in Middletown. Really? Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. You, when you look at the video, you'll never know, though. All right. Well, you can't. Um, shout out to Conscience. Yes. The Conscience is the person that, that shot the video mm-hmm. and edited it. He's from Meriden, Connecticut. He's also a dancer as well, too. But mm-hmm. He does videos, and he does it for good pricing. So if you need videos, um, you can hit him up. It's at T-H-A underscore conscience. Um, he's a good dude. Yes, and the video is very, from the snippet that I've seen, because, I, again, I didn't see the whole video yet. <laughs> um, the, from the snippet, it's very clean, very crisp. Yeah. Actually, the video looks like it's ready to be on TV. BT. I hope so. It's, it's actually TV ready. It has good quality, nice B-roll, very good. So shout out to the videographer, he did an amazing job. Conscious, that's that dude. I actually met him um, when I went to the 290 tour to go see Aaron Knight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I think you met Aaron Knight. Yes, yes. yes. Aaron Knight, um, he's actually also from the 845. Really? He is. Let me ask him. Um... Uh, yeah, we're we gonna, we gonna talk about. Yeah, that. I, I, I didn't know he was from. <laughs> yeah, he's from the eight four five. At he, all, um, actually, he signed with Primetime Music. Uh, he's a very close friend of mine. Uh, good, very humble artist. Very humble. Um, uh, he was on tour with uh, Andrew Garcia, Andrew Garcia, Brian Puspos, August Rio, who wrote uh, "Sexy Back to Sleep" by Chris Brown. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. And, okay. Um, and shout out all those dudes too. They're all a bunch of good dudes. I met all of them. So you kind of loopy out here. Yeah, yeah. I, in the I, right places. I make my ways. I make my ways, but I move in silence. You know what I'm saying? Real quiet. That's what I do. And when you see me there, that's when you see me there. Because at the same time, the song playing um, in the beginning of the show was called Clout Chasers, which was the Havana remix. Right. Clout chasing is a huge problem as well, where I see people. Nothing against. All right, so I'm I'm a, I'm gonna go straight off with with this one, Partisan Fontaine, mm-hmm. good dude. I've right. met him plenty of times. Right, great dude. I love his music. I was just bumping it on the way here. Uh, the song Mercy. Mm-hmm. I got it posted on my story right now. Right, 
that that's one of the real songs that touch home with me. Um, but realistically, I see a lot of artists trying to bite off of his wave. Just to get saying? to where he's, yes. Like, it's like, yo, support him. Right. Support him. Don't ever, don't ever think I'm telling you not to. Support the hell out of that man because he's worked hard. Yes. He's worked extremely hard to be where he's at. I like the fact that he calls himself the Section 8 sex symbol. Right. Because it shows, like, this is where I came from, Section 8. Right, right. And where I actually met him was at St. Luke's. <laughs> and he reps that as well. He reps St. Luke's. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he comes back, he shows his city love, mm -hmm. and he shows the artists from his city love. But don't don't ride that man's wave. He opening, I and I, I got to piggyback off what you said, because I feel like Partisan Fontaine, like, is opening an avenue where other artists should be prepared. Yeah. And everybody's so busy trying to be like him or wanting to be like him that they're beginning to get focused and get their stuff in line. Because once that, I mean, he's already there, but once that door continues, like, he's, they're already looking like, who's the 845? You got mm -hmm. this person, he reps 845. Yeah. St. Luke's, New Bird section. Yeah. Like they, so it's already questioned, like, who is, what is this 845? Now show him what we got. Now we have to be in position where we can show him. But don't show him one thing. One thing. Open, show right. him all the different avenues that right. the 845 got. ATL, right. they got all these different avenues. Yes, yes. You know what I'm saying? Chicago. California, they got all these different avenues. You know what I'm saying? The 845, we got our oh, different, different avenues. avenues. And we're you strong got, at it. You got artists like Lee Double O. Yes. Lee Double O, I know that's one of your people. Yes. <laughs> Lee Double O, he, he, the dude cracks me the hell up. That's my boy. <laughs> He's funny. ADD on, on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, his stage performance is beyond me. Mm hmm. Um, He's a good dude as well, too. I, I link with him at the Big Bang Vault, too, all the time, too. Okay. Uh, we've yet to make a track together yet. Are we looking? Are we, is that in the future? I'm, I'm hoping so. I hope so. Eventually, we're going to work eventually. You know, it's, it's bound to happen. Who do you see right now, Wavy, working that you really haven't had a chance to come in contact with? But you would love to work with them, if anybody. Mm, let's see. People I see working, work, mm -hmm. working, working. That you work. were like, listen, I'm, I, I want in, I want in. I, I can't ever, I can't. Well, I mean, I've already worked with Spartacus, so that's that's mm -hmm. one. But um, definitely Naisha Chanel. Yes, yes. Naisha Chanel, she does her. Thing She's on thing. the rise. Yeah. Yes, yes. Um, she heard Cloud Chasers before anybody actually. Before her and Spartacus, we were on the car and they heard it. She heard it before. But I've always wanted to work with her. Spartacus has been telling me to work with her. Right. Um, she's under management now as well, so I gotta reach out. Yeah, do the proper steps. Yeah. yeah. Um, also, another dude that I like to work with is Tony E. Yes. Yes. Tony E. I've uh, I've only met the dude in person one time. We I just you know we in passing at the studio mm -hmm. at the, over at the retreat. Shout out Zoo and Phil at the retreat too, because that's where Cloud Chasers was made. At the retreat. Yeah. Okay. At the retreat. Um, I ran into him there, and I talked to him real quick. You know, I said, yo, bro, we got to work. You know what I'm saying? We, we talked. I was, I was drunk. I don't even drink like that. That night, I was. You were Ooh. soft. Ooh. Feeling yourself. I was done so that night. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm pretty sure he knew. Uh, Sage English was there. He knew. Uh, I forget who else was there, but they all knew. They all knew. They knew what time, what time. <laughs> that, that's but, a um, fact. Sage English, too. That's also another dude that I would like to work with, too, as well. Um, and there's a couple other mm -hmm. ones. Um. You see him out here working. Yeah. That's why I said when people be like, I'm working, I'm working. You don't always have to scream you're working. I see. Your work ethics will say. I, 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 I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not you, but I watch. I, I'm a very watchful person. Like I said, my job is security. Right. I observe. Mm -hmm. I observe everything. So I see who's paying for followers. I see who's paying for views. I see who's actually out I there working. doing shows. Mm -hmm. And you can tell who's actually out there putting in that legwork. When they get on stage and you see the crowd rocking, yes, and or singing their, yeah. their lyrics, yes, the night at um Escape Nightclub. Mm -hmm. Shout out Maserati Styles and shout out Jay Lene from A Four Five Mix Show, mm -hmm. yes. and uh, Do DJ Do mm -hmm. Yeah, shout out them too for putting that all together. That show, I don't know if you peeped it, but when I was singing "All I Want Is You," there was a point in time where I stopped singing for a quick second. I was there. there oh was, yeah. And everybody was singing. Yeah. And I was like, what? Yeah. Not for nothing, what? you are the, you, not for nothing, you actually were the talk of, of 
behind the scene conversation, you were actually the talk of it. Like everybody was expecting that showcase, wavy, wavy, wavy. Like you were the one really? that everybody was expecting. That's why we stuck on me, Gabe, and all. We stuck around so long. We really wanted to see you. And when we seen you and Sparty Kids go crazy. It was like what? Yeah, what? That, was, that was that was a fire show. I, I want to do a lot more shows like that. Too, I, right? And I loved it. Your energy and everything. And you guys performed in that room like there was everyone was packed. Yeah. And that's what even made you guys even oh, better because yeah. they performed like it was a thousand people in that room. There could be two people in the room, and, and you still, still get the same energy. Still give the same energy. That's just how we do it. Now let's get into this song because we got the premieres. All I want is you. First, let's get right into it. What is the? What were you thinking? What was the mindset behind this song? <laughs> Was this a lady's song? Were you going? Were you getting broken up? Did you get dumb? This is your plea to come back. Talk to us. All I want is you. Where'd All you I want is you. I said. I said to myself. <coughs> uh, shout out to the Legion too. They're the one that produced that beat. Um, I was sitting there at work one night, mm -hmm. um, and I was sitting there saying, "Like, dude, I need to write another song. It's been a minute." Mm -hmm. So I'm sitting there. I'm like, "What's the song? What's the song that I wrote? You know, back when that." I actually appealed to the people after I did the lip gloss freestyle. I did that. I don't know if you know about that. Did a lip gloss freestyle. I appealed to people, but a song that really like captured people. Uh huh. <clears throat> it was a song I wrote years and years ago. This is back on MySpace days, and it was on everybody's MySpace page. Like you know, how you could take the song mm -hmm. and you could put it on your MySpace. Yep, yep. It was on everybody's MySpace page. Okay. Um, the song was called "I Gave My Heart," featuring Realms. Rap Carnivore. Shout out Realms to that. That's my dude. He moved out to Florida. He doesn't do music anymore, which is a damn shame because that dude is a lyrical genius. His pen is totally different. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, that song right there just reached out to a lot of people, and it was a song for the ladies, and it was a song that you know kind of got me girls. You know what I'm saying? It got, it me got girls. you some girls. It got me some girls. You were struggling out here in the streets before? I, I mean, I was never struggling and struggling. <laughs> I mean, <but laughs> you wasn't a hot catch back in the day? Nah. So, I mean, <laughs> it was just, it wasn't, it, it was just like, they knew me for writing music, but I was writing like gangster rap, you know what I'm saying? I was writing diss freestyles, you know? Oh, okay, okay. It so was like B-ho, slight, yeah. spit in your mouth, slap in the face, never, all that. I, I, I never got that <laughs> never got that crazy. Never got that crazy. But uh, <laughs> it did get a little crazy, you mm -hmm. know, and... I was like, nah, you know, I need to write something that's smooth. And I wrote that song, and it appealed to a lot of people along with a song that I wrote for John Seymour that passed away in 2010. Okay. Um, that song also appealed to a lot of people because he was a very well-known kid, a uh, very well-known friend of me. I was a friend of the family. Mm -hmm. So um, shout out to that family, the whole Seymour family. Um, but I wrote that song. Uh, uh, I gave my heart, and I was like, I right, bet, you know. Let me look through these beats that the Legion sent me. Look through, look through which one. And I'm sitting there humming along, and I use I'm I'm a, I'm a client. I told you I, I make I, I'm I'm wild. Mm -hmm. I, I do whatever I want. Mm -hmm. So I'm at work, and the cleaning lady she was walking past me, and I heard the beat playing, and I'm like, ding 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 ding, ding. and then I see her, and I was like, hey, Alma, whatever your name is, all I want is you, baby. <laughs> And I was messing with all that. Yeah. You know, I was messing with all the light skin shit, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. He said all the light skin. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And she's sitting there. She's like, oh, my God, I'm speaking in Spanish to me because I can't understand her. But she, I think she said, I love you, too. Right. But that's probably not what she really said, but we ain't going to talk, talk about, about what she really said. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but I was singing that to her or whatever, and I was like, oh, that's that's kind of fun. Let me write that down. So I wrote it down, and then I just kept going. I said, said all I want is you, baby. So tell me what to do, baby. And I don't have a clue lately. And all I want is you. I said, ooh, ooh shit, yeah. You were feeling your own stuff when I you heard that thing. Stutter, yo. <laughs> Give me a couple more pounds out here. Yeah, stop playing. But, um, so... And then I was like, all right, cool. I got to write some lyrics. Now, I just said before, don't bite off Party's wave. Right. But Party's also another person that influences me in my writing style. So, like, there's certain songs he does that I find myself, like, and I've been told by other people that I sound like him. You know, maybe it's a thing that we both have deep voices. And right, right, like that, okay. But that's what it is. And in that part, I said, like, a year gone by, you done switched it up, called my phone last night, and I picked it up. You in the club, I was low with a double cup, and, and all I wanted. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, like, it, that kind of, like, I was like, damn, this sounds party-ish, you know what I'm right, saying? Right, right. But 
Party's selling right now, so fuck it. Like, let me sound like party. I'm with it. I'm with it. I was like, it's me, though. It's me. At the end of the day, it's me. I just, you know, he's just an influence of mine. You know, some people sound like, you know, you, you got Lee Double O. He sounds like Famous Dex. Mm-hmm. You got mm-hmm. uh, Band, Boy, Band Boy Rocky. He hates he hates this um, comparison, but he kind of sounds like P&B Rock. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ooh, now that you said it, he yeah. does. <laughs> he hates that comparison. He actually hates it. He's selling it. <laughs> he is. Compare uh, me. <laughs> uh, actually, I have a song out with Band Boy Rocky right now. Really? It's actually doing... So it's uh, Party and P&B Rock. We can be like, Party and P&B? Yeah. All right. So we uh, got <laughs> Party and P&B on the track. <laughs> That's a fact. Um, but actually, in that song, I was singing. Okay. Um, it's called Cash App. It's on SoundCloud. It's on YouTube now. I just found out it's on YouTube today, actually. Um, it's called Cash App Band Boy Rocky featuring um, Wavy Wobbly. Uh, and that song was it was actually extremely fire. I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, we just I just happened to pop up in the studio and he was um, he was getting ready to uh, release uh, Bank Boy 2, Volume 2. And I was like, yo, you ain't got no Wavy Wobbly features on none of your damn mixtape. What the hell is good? He said, all right, well, I hop on it. And you hopped on it? I hopped on it and we bodied it. And... Uh, shout out DJ King James because always Damn about it. like three days after the song was out, he ended up playing it at Jay Z's. Shout out to to my guy, that's my family. Yeah, he yeah. he's one of my favorite DJs. Uh, yeah, he played that song and literally had everybody lit. And you you know why when you hear that song, lit 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 lit, huh? It's it's fire. It's, it's fire. fire. It's, 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 but we're it's gonna fire. get into all I want is you now. Listen. Are you gonna like perform it and do all of this like you was doing, or is this, that's just like when you like? I, I if mean, you was just doing a lot, like you I, was just I could like. I possibly do that. I mean, you was going like um, this, and you was just like real, like <laughs> you look like a real. I, like, I need to be taking my shirt off at shows. Whoa! Hold it! Where the AC is going? <laughs> you um, gonna breathe? Let me see. We got my green Fanta in the room. Is my green Fanta out there? We got a green. Oh, you gotta have the props and all that. My green Fanta is my crack. That's. What's that's it? What, that's what makes me, that's what makes, uh... That, that's what makes it, well, I'm gonna give you this mic, just in case you want to do the drip, drip, and the drop, drippity drop. He about to, I don't know, what's in that green stuff? We ain't gonna say it, because we live. But we gonna let you do your thing. That's just my green fonta, you know what I'm saying? So you yeah. introduce, introduce your song. <laughs> all right, so, uh, is this on? Yeah, we go. We gonna perform All I Want Is You featuring, uh, Spartacus. Spartacus ain't here right now, but we gonna do the damn thing anyway right now, all right? You ready? I'm ready. Switch it up, call my phone last night and I picked it up You in the club, I was low with a double cup, man And all I want is yo Girl, you know you bad as fuck You know them drips you got me buying, got me adding up But I ain't tripping, I'm a rapper, now my cash is up, man And you know how we do Think about the times we'll have All the sex and laughs, ride in the cab How I put you to your crib, how I ran your bath, man and you yeah, your voice so small Never wanna talk this is my dream bitch Shorty bad and the body's the meanest Shut it, smoke and my pack say the greenest Pull in rotation, get a lit, I be scheming And it's the perfect time to let you know Yes, yeah, all I want is you, baby So tell me what to do, baby And I don't have a clue lately All I want is you, babe What I gotta do, babe Feel like I tried it already A lot of my thoughts that I got you already Can't let them know that you up for a take it Can't let them know that you got my heart racing I swear it's different for me Feel like the Lord had picked you 
from me Little corny, but why? You can ignore me And you might bring up the freak You never bore me, really Stop being silly Sex tape will make a million If we ever record it If we ever record it All I want is you Can't say enough They call me on my bluff I want you in this door Your friend be telling you I ain't shit But you know that I'm the opposite Give me your heart, I'll pocket it One thing can all say all I want is you, baby so tell me what to do, baby And I don't have a clue lately And all I want is you Say all I want is you, baby So tell me what to do, baby And I don't have a clue lately And all I want is you Straight four five, the Smoochie Merchant, Wavy Wild Boy, we hit, we hit, yeah! Oh my lord! Ah, eh! Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Comment. Shout out to Groovy. Groovy said, bro, you should have performed this at the Coast to Coast. Oh, yeah. Coast to Coast. You would have won that. I didn't actually write it at, uh, before Coast to Coast. Oh, my God. If you would have got that, you would have been in it. You would have won it. would have been no yeah. more talk, talking about it. Coast to Coast. Um, I performed. <laughs> I forget what song I performed at Coast to Coast. Um, but I like that song, though, that I performed at Coast to Coast. I think that was the, song, that was the only song I actually talk about. Somewhat of a military experience. I remember that's what it is about. I just don't remember the name of it. I don't remember that actual song right now because I've done so much since then. Right. I so think this is, then. if I might add, um, I think this is the single. I mm -hmm. think this is the particular single that's going to open those doors for you. Yeah. Like all your other music is very good. Um, but I was just watching. I was watching. And I always say this to artists. I like to watch my mom. Mm -hmm. My mom is a church lady. Yeah. So she already doesn't listen to secular music. That's a fact. You understand what I'm saying? So too, when, she, when to hear a song and to see her get into it and stuff like that, <laughs> that means that's good for you as an artist. Why? Yeah. Because that means your music is appeasing to everybody's mm -hmm. ears. The old, the young, the black, the white, the, the church, the unchurched people, the religion. You know what I'm saying? And that's a good look for you. And I really honestly think like this song... I feel like you should put money behind this song. Mm -hmm. I feel like you should just push this particular song so you can't push it no more. I will, definitely, definitely. Because even me, now I know the words, and I just, <laughs> like, this is the first time you're actually hearing the whole song, and now I'm singing the whole chorus. That's how that's, yeah, it's, good the song is that made you want to know the words to it. There's that. There is this song that I definitely plan on pushing. Definitely this one right here is the one that's already out there, known, and I think this, you're right, it is going to be the one that actually puts me out there. Um, and I just want to give a little, you know, fast forward. Mm -hmm. There's a song that's going to be dropping very, 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 very soon. Mm -hmm. You're going to come back and drop it? Yeah, of course, of course. It's called Next Up. Okay. Um, every time I performed All I Want Is You and done every show, I always hear at the end, yo, Wavy, you know you next up, bro. Aaron Knight, big shout out to him again. He's always telling, yo, bro, you know you next up. Shout out. Shout out all Aaron Knight and Primetime. Yes, music. yes, Definitely yes. Definitely shout out yes. them, yo. Vin, Charlie Hustle, Alvin, Tony, all y'all, y'all, y'all my peoples, y'all. I rock with y'all to the day I die. Um, but they always tell me, yo, you next up, bro. You next up. Like, so I'm like, you know what? I'm sitting there and I have a producer now. Uh, he goes by the name of Gemini, produced by Gemini. He's from North Carolina. And he sent me this beat, and he was like, yo, bro, it's kind of dark, blah, 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 this, that, and the third. And I said, all right, bet, let me hear it. And I hear it, and all of a sudden, I turned it into a turned-up song. Right, it's right. It's called Next Up. And the hook says, started out the summer flexed up now. Whoa, you hate me, but I'm at my best right now. Whoa, started slow, but no, I'm next up now. Next up now, next up now. That right there. 
I cannot. Wait oh my to god! Try that. I think I love the fact that he can sing. Mm-hmm. Or he got a little singing thing mm-hmm. to him. A little, a little bit. A little, a little, bit. Every, a little every Brian McKnight. It pops, out, it pops out every now and then. I, I was, like it. I was in the church choir. I was in chorus in school and all that other jazz. So every now and then I'll sing on a track. Um, I have a song out. I think it's, I don't know. You know, it's not out yet, but 845th Street Entertainment. Oh, you you work with them? Yeah. Shout out. Shout now, who's out on the track them. with you with this one? Um, That one is myself, Spartacus, Mac Jones, and um, I'm forgetting the other dude's name. The white one, the white guy. Pervasi. No, not Pervasi, the one with the spiky hair. Conflicted. conflicted. Yeah, conflicted. Oh, conflicted. I haven't had too many words with him yet, but uh, conflicted's on that. Yeah, and I just actually just got it back, and I'm gonna go back in there and touch it up a little bit. But I'm on the hook. Oh, that's gonna be dope. Um, <clears throat> what did I say on that hook? You make me feel like these Benjis do. Uh-huh. Keep dancing, you. Hey. See what these Benjis do. Yeah. I think I like your wave as an artist. I don't know. I don't know what genre to put you in. I think I just put you in good music. If you keep making music like that, oh, it's just good music. I like because that. that's just like, like I said, music for everybody. That's that feel good. I need a two step all mm-hmm. night, all about <laughs> you. You know, you, music like that never. That's timeless yeah. music. And and the thing is, I want to uh, put in my music content. Right, right. There's a lot of uh, music I hear. And granted, like, yeah, it's what people listen to now because a lot of people aren't that big of music heads. They listen to the beat. Right. They just listen to the beat. Mm-hmm. They just listen to the hook. Know, the hook. Uh. And, and the, if they can if they can hit the folks to it. You right, know right, right. Hit the, hit the uh, dab and all that other jazz to it. Like, you know, that's what they listen for. But actual content in your songs, you know what I'm saying? That's a big thing for me as well, too. Like, like actually talk about something. Right. Give me a you know storyline behind give me, your music. Give me something where, like, you could pick out you could pick out some lyrics in there and be like, yo, when you said this, I felt, felt it. That. Well, I was <laughs> going through that. Yeah. Oh, your song brought me through, right? Mm-hmm. Well, All I Want Is You. I had a dude. Uh, he's a good fan of mine now. Um, uh, his name is Cole. He's from uh, North Carolina now. Uh, he, he, I think it was called, or it was another one actually, and his wife actually was just live the other day, and I popped in her live, and she goes, uh, I, I didn't even know who it was, but, um, and she was live on his account, she goes, Wavy Wild Boy, I don't know who you are, but you are the best thing since sliced bread, because your song got me back with my husband, Aww. and I said, What? <laughs> I said, what? Oh. Yeah, they said uh, pretty much they were going through their little marital issues. And he was trying to like pour out his heart to her. And he said the he has one more way to pour his heart out to her. And he played All I Want Is You. And I was like, he told me it. So I said, if I play All I Want Is You, I'm going to get a man? Apparently. Drop it, repeat, <laughs> re, re, as, as, as my people say, rewind, select the rewind. Rewind. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> but I definitely, um, that's, uh, that's the song. That's the song, and I'm not going to lie, I'm going to have to open up a couple shows to this song, because that song got me, like, I love, I love it, and I actually have to go watch the video now, because I definitely love it. That's fine. Wavy. That's why I like my interviews, because I see, I don't have no structure. We're just going to talk, we're just going to vibe. And, like, this interview just was just, it was fun. It was natural. It was just natural. It was fun. Organic. Organic. <laughs> I didn't have to pay for it. Yeah, yeah. It was, this is just real life right here. Um, but wait till you go back and see the video, because I was helping you do the light skin thing. I was Oh, uh, yeah. I, 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 was I, with you. I felt, I felt I felt energy. The, you I felt, felt the, the energy, because I was background. trying to yeah, throw it to yeah, you yeah. as you was doing your, we was light skinned it. We was real life. But we back like dark that. now. Yeah, yeah, Look, yeah. it went away. Black, black of the berry, the sweet of the I'm just trying to talk to him nice. I'm just trying to tell him. But before we get out of here, Wavy, um, first of all, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. And Wavy will be back because when he drops his the, the next single that he's going to drop, he's going to come back on the show um, so we could drop it together Definitely. and he could do what he just did. <laughs> and all of that. And all of that because I like that stuff. Um, but before we got out of here, I just, I'm going to ask my last question to you, right. Wavy Wild Boy. Um, you know, as you see, the eight four five is working. A lot of people, artists are out putting in work, and there's a lot of new artists coming out. Um, so I guess my question to you is: um, in twenty nine, in nineteen eighteen, going into twenty nineteen, what is it that you want people to know about you as an artist that will separate <clears throat> you from the bunch? Um, well, honestly, the thing that separates me from everybody is I was told I'm not gonna mention his name, but I was told by an artist 
that you have to have a sound. Mm -hmm. And my sound will never be the same. I'm working with artists right now, like Buck Rude. Mm -hmm. Buck Rude, that dude has opened my mind to a whole nother wave of just me. Mm -hmm. He's uh, opened me to just different avenues that I can go down. Shout out Buck Rude, that's my guy. Um, just look out for new music, just know that. New music is coming. Old to me, new to you is going to be coming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I got mm -hmm. so much new music, so much new music that's ready to be put out. It, it, I think it's ready, but, you know, my people is that, that I have to go through first before I put music out. Are you in the management? Um, right now, I'm on, the, I'm on the line of it right now. Okay. When mm -hmm. I go down to Nashville, um, to, I'm, I'm leaving tomorrow, actually. Um we're going to be talking about that, talking contracts and all that other jazz. Because um, Wavy Wild Boy shirts and jerseys will be available soon. I know they will because I will have the first edition. I'm just going to say <laughs> live. I will have the first wear. So when you see me sit on this show with my Wavy Wild Boy apparel, That's then right. you'll know it's officially you out see, there. The now, chains, I'm just going to put this out there now out in his interview. And I'm going to let everybody know. If Moochie does not receive a Wavy Wild Boy apparel, and if I find that it's on the street <laughs> before anybody get, and anybody gets it for me because y'all gonna stop treating me like i'm not angie martinez or the 845 <laughs> like i shouldn't be knowing before i know whoever i'm boycotting no apparel whoever got one take it off, take it off. <laughs> i need it right now <laughs> but i definitely um i can't wait um i can't wait for you to come out I mean, you already been out, but I just seem like right now at this point it's like you're at your peak right now yeah. and it's like something is about to happen for you i feel it because your name is just buzzing too much. It's, you're making too much noise. but And you're making noise in places that you don't know you're making noise. I know because I sit, you know, I sit at everybody's table and That's things right, like that. Yeah. And everybody's city. So I'm hearing your name in different cities and towns that you don't even know. That's good to know. You know what I'm saying? I'll be wondering that sometimes. I'm like, who actually knows about Wavy Wild? No, people Wavy know. Wavy Trust me. People know. I'm not going to lie because I'm going to stop. I told people I was going to stop lying in 2018 and just telling y'all stories. Um, and just pushing our egos. But people do know Wavy Wild Boy all up and through Monticello and all down there. So just That's know that fire. your name is bringing That's these fire. bells out here. I appreciate all y'all. And I'm proud, of, I'm proud of you. Um, I'm proud. Thank first you. of all, thank you for serving our country again. I'm proud of you for just being a man, a black man out here doing the right thing. Um, I can honestly say when we eat on your social media, the image that you have is a very positive image. It's nothing negative. I'm excited about your music career because I'm raising two young kings. So to know that your music is going to be on their playlist and what they're going to be looking up to, I'm excited even the more. So keep doing what you're doing, baby. And before we leave this place, give your shout outs, your Instagrams, your Twitters, and let the people know what we can look for for the rest of 2018 from you. I got you. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Wavy Wild Boy Official. If you can't spell it, it's on the back mm -hmm. right here. Wavy Wild Boy. Um, you can uh, also find me on Facebook, Wavy Wild Boy. Look at me. Look for me on you, YouTube, Wavy Wild Boy. Uh, SoundCloud, Wavy Wild Boy Official. Anything Wavy Wild Boy, you'll find me. Um, 2018, get ready. I'm dropping. Uh, the album, the, the album will be dropping before 2018 is over. The album is called um, uh, "Still Chasing Dreams." Still chasing dreams. Um, that that will be dropping before 2019. I guarantee you. So we're dropping an album this year. Dropping an album. <laughs> Al, before we get out of here, though, you already know we're gonna end and we're gonna run it back because all I want is Wavy Boy to perform this song live when I'm there. That's all I want. So tell me what to do, baby And I don't have a clue lately And all I want is you Say all I want is you, baby So tell me what to do, baby And I don't have a clue lately But all I want is you Buy you to switch it up. Call my phone last night and I picked it up. You in the club, I low with a double cup, man. And all I want is yo. Girl, you know you bad as fuck. You know them drinks you got me buying, got me adding up. But I ain't tripping, I'ma rapping, now my cash is up, man. And you know how we go. Think about the times we we'll have, all the sex and laughs, ride in the cab, how I put you to your crib, how I ran your bad fan. And yeah, your voice so small. Now I'm going to focus if I dreamed it. Shorty bad and nobody's body's the meanest. Shelly like smoke and my packs stay the greenest. Pull a rotation, get a lit, I be scheming. 
And it's the perfect time to let you know Say all I want is you, baby So tell me what to do, baby And I don't have a clue lately Get out of here, y'all. What I'm clueless right now.